Hey, good morning everybody. It's March 4th, 2021. I'm off to uh, my first day of shed hunting this year. Shed Tour 21 is going to be kicking off. I'm here with my son, Gavin. He's going to be uh, heading to school. I'm going to be dropping him off and we're going up to heading where it's shedding. You guys have a great day. I'll see you there. Take care. Hold on. Come back to Shed Tour 21 again. Uh, I'm on the road. Just dropped off my boy to school. And uh, me and my dog, Rudy. Rudy? There he is. My little companion out here on the woods. Just me, myself, and I and him. I'll see you in about a second. Just give me a quick update on the road right now. We'll see you in about a second, your time. A couple hour drive ahead of me. And uh, we'll be in the shed country, ready to pick him up. See you soon. What's up, guys? Just pulling in. I'm in the parking spot, me and Rudy. It's got my backpack thrown on, got my binos on. Checking out the area. It's a sunny day, I'm gonna wear my hat for sure. Keep the sun out of the old eyes. Yeah, it's my first time being up here. Like I said, Thursday, March 4th, 2021. Day one of Shed Tour 21. Glad to have you along. I've never been here. I've hunted, shed hunted around this area before, um, but I've never been in this spot, of course. I particularly think I'm going to find, I hope to find some whites, chalks probably. Uh, if I'm lucky, stumble on some browns, just like any of us. So I'll keep you posted, keep you updated, but it's awesome to be out in God's country. Love it. Catch you later. Just give me a little update, all my friends out there. Uh, I've gone about a half mile from the pickup and uh, nothing right now, but I was thinking, out of just curiosity, what my first brown of 2021 is going to be, or I should say my first antler, my first shed pickup, if it's going to be a, uh, a brown, a hard white, or a chalk. I gave you a little clue earlier when I first pulled up. Um, this place is kind of notorious for a lot of chalks out here, so percentage I guess is pretty high. But let me know with a comment down below what you think uh, I might find as my first 2021 shed antler this year. I don't have any uh, anything for the lucky winner, um, but that could all change someday. Who knows? But if you think it's going to be a, a brown three-point, put down a brown three-point. Put a comment down below. If you think it's going to be a hard, chalky, whatever, fork and horn two-point, leave your guess down below. All right, this is just a quick update. As soon as I come across the horn, we'll try to do my first film recovery. Exciting stuff. See you right, soon. Welcome back again. Sorry for the little hiccups. Uh, got some good news on the board, finally. Uh, I've walked about 1.1 miles, according to my All Trails app, and uh, I see about 25 yards just down the hill. A horn don't cheat make sure you've uh, already put your comment down below before you see this next few seconds of footage tell me what you think it was either a brown hard white chalk and how many points pretty simple all right I'm excited let's go check it out my first horn of 2021 Rudy's gonna follow me let me turn the camera around all right sorry about that camera technical issues I'm filming everything today on my phone as I'm walking down here, I'm just going to quickly scan and see if I can find another antler. Maybe the side-by-side. -side. Let's check this guy out. Yeah, he looks good. Should be in the middle screen by now. Rudy's going to run up to him. There you go, Rudy. Good boy, Rudy. Oh, yeah, very pleased with him. Wow. Right on. Look at that. And look at to the right. I just happened to glance over. Bam, right in the bushes stud nice yeah so wow i got a side by side set brown three point black tail love it. all right again just happened to look down the can draw um 30 yards down the hill i was glass and glass and glass and everything much further 60, 50, 60, 70, 80, 900 yards, whatever I could look at. 
and then I take I put my binoculars down and I just look down and it's all tines up what we all look for let's check it out through the recovery here my, again it's my first recovery on camera this is a uh, horn number one right here little three point check it out yeah real brown we can get over here the colors a little better light yeah little broken main beam off the tip but everything else looks real real nice nice heavy burr big white clear as day wax ring still on there real gnarly base let's pick up the right this is the left let's pick up the right he's pretty cool he's all stuck in the bush here oh yeah oh yeah big old gnarly bases big eye guard on this guy probably about two and a half inch eye guard nice pretty brown this is what we all come up here looking for right Heck yes. Let's check him out. Who wouldn't take that any day? Absolutely. Pumped. Very pumped. I'll keep looking around in here. This looks like a perfect spot. I mean, it's. I'm surprised I've walked a mile not even to find a white, but I'm happy with the side by side set brown. That's what we all look for. That's awesome. 2021, whew, starting like fire right now. All right, guys, let's keep searching. Hello again. It's been a quick minute. I did uh, some circling around where I found the side by side set and couldn't find anything. Just kept sticking to the brush brush a little bit and did a couple loops. Um, came up a little higher, up out of the draw behind me, and I. Uh, I bumped some does, maybe seven, eight of them. I couldn't get a real good look at them. They were already spooked and running. So I, uh, I backed out of there and kind of circled back down and around, giving them their space. This is where they went range anyways. And as I was circling back and around, I happened to stumble up across this guy looking down in the bushes. There is he right there. So yeah, pumped. Uh, my second horn of the, well, third horn of the day. Second time spotting anything. Let's see. Looks to be a good little four point. Little eye guard on them. Sweet. Check it out. Looks like it's a, yeah, it's definitely a hard white. It's last year's brown. Sitting here per, kind of protected in the, uh, protected in the shade of these bushes, this buck brush. Got some good color back here still. Yeah. A little compact four point. I'm I'm pretty pretty pumped with it. Good color on the back. Yeah, I might spend a second in here just looking around these buck brush again some more. Seems like that might be the ticket is this buck brush. So uh, anyways, I got some above me and mm, let me check something out here real quick. Oh, that's old stick horn. We know what stick horns look like. We see plenty of those. Hey, why have you here? I wanted to make sure to let you know that uh, I was very excited about finding that set. And uh, if you set a three point brown, you're definitely a winner. That's for sure. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. But if you went the extra mile and said, you're gonna find a three point brown set, I would have never believed you. But sure enough, that's what happened to me. I got lucky. You know, we all, we all love to find horns but that brown gold, it feels so good. It's awesome. So I'm still, you know, an hour ago, I'm still on cloud nine a little bit floating. So don't get me wrong. I'll pick up those all day long. This is awesome. So having a great day and uh, I hope you are too. Whew. Okay. Take care. I'll until next time. Hey, just sitting up on this rock right here. Um, so I got the horn in my hand from earlier. It's been probably a good half hour since I talked to you last dog's begging to go. He's kind of whimpering now. But uh, anyways, I'm, I'm blasting this great big basin hillside. It's pretty open. 
sparse. And, uh, well, let me see here. So you got tines uh, down in this area right here somewhere, right by that big rock, I think. Anyway, so we're going to go pick him up. It looks pretty good. Fork-wise, I can only see the tips, but they look like they might be deep forks. I have a feeling out in this wide open, it's going to be chalk. But it's probably going to be a good, I'm guessing, a four-point. Let's go check it out. All right, Rudy. Find the antler. Find the antler. He's hidden in these rocks. All right, we're about 15 feet from him. Probably pick him out top of the screen. There he comes in the view. Well, there's a little ground shrinkage on him, but that's okay. We're happy to happy to find him. Must have been the angle that I was looking at. It's a big, heavy three-point. Here's the four-point next to him. Not a bad buck. Let's pick him up. Yeah, this is uh, the color on it. Pretty faded versus the other one. I, I'm going to say definitely uh, out in this wide open, probably two years old. This was a... Uh, a little bit of chewing on top there. It's in good shape, but up here in this hot sun and the summers are brutal. I'd classify him as as chalk. Stoked to have him. Wouldn't mind finding his, his right side. Yeah, last two horns are picked up. It's windy, I apologize for the wind noise. But I'll, I'll keep looking in here and down these little brush line through all this. Maybe eventually get over onto that ridge and start working my way back up. But yeah, stoked. All right, until next time. Well, it must be that time again. Uh, as you can see right here in the corner, I uh, was stumbling down in this big open basin down below me and I just happened to look up on this trail going, boy, this looks too good to not have a horn on it. And we just keep positive thinking, keep wishing it. Looked up, barely saw some tines sticking out of the grass, those tips. As I walked on up here, of course I'm going, what is it? And a little closer. That's a little three point brown adult and then I looked up and there's the match. Rudy wants to get in on it too. He wants to say hi hello. Yeah. So yeah, stoked. Another obviously a probably a two and a half year old buck. And again I apologize for the wind. Hello. Welcome back. The last uh, hour and a half kind of kicked my butt the last two miles. Zilcho not even a chalky out there. But I uh, made it back to the truck. I did uh, the numbers. The, the total today was 5.3 miles, just under uh, four hours, 38 minutes, and that's just going slow. Shut up. Looking behind every bush and uh, turning every rock over. So, anyway, this is what I came up with today. Six big ones. Uh, so, my, of course, my first side-by-side -side set of the year the brownies heck yeah Let's see here we go and then uh, this 4x4 four four brown nice little addition and then uh, it took me a little while but later on I found this guy little old chalky three-point and then my last two this little side-by-side -side, two and a half year old set of browns so, had a great day today. I, uh, in my book, I killed it. I love it, man. This is this is great. This is what I come out here for. I love finding browns. And I love finding horns. Period. So until next time, um, day two is going to be tomorrow. Probably come out here to the same place. I might have a buddy with me tomorrow. We'll find out. Um, I'll find out when you find out tomorrow morning. So all right, hang in there. Take care. Bye.